Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Use a pry bar or a large flat bladed screwdriver to remove the hubcap. Just gonna slide it under the edge. Put that aside. Take a breaker bar and a 21 millimeter socket and loosen the lug nuts while the car is still on the ground. Raise to support the vehicle. Now I can finish removing the wheel. These lug nuts are pretty loose, so I'm just gonna use the socket, to take them off. I'm removing the last lug nut. I'm just gonna hold on to the wheel so it doesn't fall off. Take it right off. Start by removing the two caliper pin bolts, one on the bottom, one on the top. It's a 14 millimeter. I actually broke free without having to use the mallet. Tight, you can take a mallet, and just tap it, break it free. Just squeeze the caliper a little bit by pulling it out. It should slide right off the pads. Take a bungee cord, just hang it up and out of the way. So I'm going to use a small pry bar, or you can use a flat bladed screwdriver to pop them away from the brake rotor out of the caliper bracket. Remove the caliper bracket bolts. There's two at the back. One on the top, one on the bottom. They're 14 millimeter. They'll be in there pretty tight. Use the box wrench and a mallet to break them free. The bottom one loose, so work on the top one. So they're broken free, you can switch to a ratcheting wrench. Get it pretty loose, just gonna remove the bottom one with my fingers, put that aside, reuse it, and get the top one out. Pull the bracket out bolt out. This car is missing a rubber plug that goes in the rotor here. Uh, the rubber plug is so that you can access the parking brake mechanism to release it. So somebody just put some duct tape over it. I'm going to peel it off. Inside here is the mechanism. I'm going to try to pull it off first though because sometimes it's loose enough you don't need to release it. Parking brake's not on. It is spinning free. Spray some rust penetrant around the hub. A little bit in here. Take our dead blow mallet. I'm going to hit around the edge here to try to break it free. Sometimes you'll get lucky. These might come off, but they usually get stuck on the parking brake shoes. You need to release the adjustment. It's very hard to see right now, but through this opening, it normally has a rubber plug on it. It had some duct tape on it. We removed it. It's like a flat bladed screwdriver. I'm going to spin it. Uh, try to grab the little tabs on there and spin it up. It's like a little wheel. I'm going the right way. You can check. Oh, see, I went the wrong way. It locked it. So it's going to actually be spun down. You basically just have to spin that wheel down and keep retracting the parking brake shoes in so the rotor will come free. When you adjust it, you're going through the rotor and into this hole down on it, and that spins the 
parking brake shoes in to release them. Here's our original pads and rotors from our vehicle, our brand new ones from 1AAuto.com. Same exact uh, style of rotor. Pads are the same design. Same lug pattern, pusher bolts, holes if you need to, and the same access hole for the parking brake, which rides on the inside of the brake rotor hub here. These should fit great and work great for you. We're gonna clean and reuse our brake caliper hardware. It's in the caliper bracket. We're gonna use some brake parts cleaner. Let's take a wire brush. Use some brake parts cleaner and a rag. Just wipe it down. Typically this hardware is stainless steel so it can be reused. It doesn't get very rusty. And repeat it for the other side. So now's a good time while you have this out. Just make sure that your caliper slide pins move freely. These ones move nice and free. And reinstall that in the car. Install the rotor backwards. Take brake parts cleaner and clean off the oil that comes on these so they don't rust while they're shipped. it over. Make sure you install it in a way that this hole lines up with one of the openings here so you can adjust the parking brake. So I'm taking the caliper off of our bungee cord. I'm going to take one of the old brake pads, take a C-clamp, and now what I'm going to do is gently compress the caliper, push the piston into the body. That way, when we put our new pads in, it'll slide right together. Just gonna rest the caliper like that. Take a brake parts cleaner, clean it off. And reinstall our caliper bracket. Get the top one. Hot first, it makes it a little bit easier. I can install the bottom one, it's a little easier because it just hangs on the top one. Reach in behind here, get that bracket lined up. Use the 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench to snug these up. Install our new pads, just take some brake parts cleaner, make sure they're nice and clean. Brake caliper grease years of them. Inside and outside pads are the same. I'm going to start with the inside pad. Place it in the bottom clip. Push it up into the top clip. Snaps into place. Do the same for the outside one. So we're just kind of following the curve of the pad too. They're contoured. So the the wider part is going to match up with the wider outside part of the rotor, same with the inside part. Just push them down into the clips, squeeze them together, place the caliper back in place, and reinstall the bolts, tighten these up. Tight, I will stop. I torque the caliper bolts, 46 foot pounds. You need to adjust the uh, drag on the parking brake. You can turn this so you can see the adjuster. And then you can put your screwdriver in. Just catch the gears in the wheel just right. So now that's how you'd adjust it so that it's actually really tight. It's holding the brake rudder. So now you know where the limit is. You want to back it off a little bit by turning it back down. Eventually, if you touch the parking brake pedal, 
it would self-adjust out, but this way it just gets it closer right away. So now I'm gonna reach in and turn it down a little bit. So what it's dragging on right now is just the brake pads, but that should spin freely enough. And of course, when you hit the parking brake pedal, it should come out and lock the rear wheels. Important to note, these lug nuts have a taper. The taper meets the wheel, matches the inside of the wheel. Don't install them with the flat side like this, that is incorrect. Install them with the taper to the wheel. It helps locate the wheel on the lug nut stud. I'm just using the socket and ratchet to bring these down snug before I put the car on the ground. I torque the lug nuts to 76 foot-pounds. Going in a cross pattern. I reinstall the hubcap. I'm gonna line up the opening for the valve stem with the valve stem on the wheel. Push it in place. Before we start the car, just gonna gently press the brake pedal down, not all the way to the floor, maybe about a quarter of the way, and just pump it. And this will bring the brake caliper piston out to meet the pads because we compressed it. And you'll start to feel it get more solid as it pumps up. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.